And what are we learning from overseas? We've got Canada looking at building more. We've got to, lots of technology in the mix with various countries around the world. What are we hearing? Well, of course, I mean, Canada, UK, US are all putting more money into include, increasing the amount of nuclear. I mean, I can't understand how Chris Bowen says that nuclear isn't isn't a viable option. If you look at the way other countries are de approaching it, they're deciding it's uh, it's quite viable. But we in Australia have this prohibition, which says you know nuclear is not allowed. We can't even consider nuclear. And yet nuclear is, a, is a, about a zero carbon emission electricity source. If the aim is to reduce carbon emissions, then nuclear has to be part of the consideration, one of the, one of the viable options. One of the other points of discussion with nuclear in Australia is the time it would take to build a reactor. How long would you estimate it would take? Well, if, if, if one goes for a big reactor, the big reactor is being built around the world in six to eight years, um, but we do have to put a regulatory process underneath it. The small modular reactors are going to be much more built in factories and they're going to be much quicker, be four or five years. Um, all depends, one has to, has to make a site, one has to select a site, there's a slight process, there's a regulatory process that has to be put in place. Once construction starts, it's three to four years for a small modular reactor once they're commercially available. And how safe are they? Because we, we hear, you know, talks of Chernobyl and big nuclear plants over the years. Tell us from your point of view, your expertise, how safe they, they are. I think they're very safe. I mean, basically, one, one isn't going to build a Chernobyl reactor. That's, that was a very old technology and under a Soviet system. Um, each, each time as there is an incident or an accident, uh, the, the technology has been improved, like all other technologies. So a new modern advanced reactor is going to be very safe. I mean, other countries around the world have decided that this is good for them. So why in Australia are we the only country that doesn't have, we have the engineering expertise, we have the capability um, to look after us and to maintain it. All right, well, we do have to wrap it up there, but uh, thank you very much for your time and expertise. Great to chat to you, Dr John Harry, Secretary of the Australian Nuclear Association.